Hey guys, it's Jamaica, and today I'm going to show you how I made this little PNG tuber in the corner. It's me, I have my can of bubbly water and my tablet, and I can change to another mode where I'm looking forward and I just have my bubbly water. Uh, I'm using Clip Studio Paint to make it, and you're going to want to start with a canvas that is 2048 by 2048 uh, pixels in a square. And I've just heard and seen from watching tutorials that it's the best size for the program we're going to use called Video Tube Mini, which I'm going to show you how to download. I'm going speed paint mode because filming the whole thing is so long. And off I go. Kind of wanted to do a chibi version, but I don't really have a chibi style yet, so it's like a halfway. Halfway my normal style and halfway a big head chibi version. I wanted to have my cat hat and my pigtails, which I've been wearing pretty much every day. I've been lazy because it's been snowing a lot. You can tell the eyes look different now. I change the eyes on this like a million times, and I do that with almost all of my paintings. I can never decide on how I want the eyes to look, if I want them to have little pupils, if I want them to have big pupils. That's just my struggle. And now looking at it, I kind of liked these original eyes. But, you know, I'll probably make a lot of these. And if you just want to get to the program part, feel free to skip this part ahead. So on some separate layers, I was trying to keep everything on separate layers. I'm really bad at that. Um, you want to make a regular open eye mode. You want to make open eye with an open mouth. You want to make blinking on a different layer. And then you want to make blinking with an open mouth, so you have a total of four PNGs at the end. And I'll show you that in the program too. I wanted to have two versions. I think you can have up to five, so you can do different expressions and accessories and stuff. And this will probably get more complicated as I keep using it and adding to it. I almost added my cat there, or a Bulbasaur, and then I decided not to. Okay, so this is my layers and my Clip Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I saved each one of these. Uh, I'm horrible at naming files, so they're just one, two, three, and four. Open eyes, closed mouth, open eyes, open mouth, blinking, closed mouth, blinking, open mouth. I also added on the blinking um, later on in the video. I added the ears on my hat moving, and the bubbles coming out of my bubbly can, and my pencil moving. Okay, so you're going to want to download VideoTube, Vide Vido Tube, uh, which is up here at this URL, VideoTube Mini. And you can download it for free, but you can also donate 
to support the person who made it, which is a great idea. You'll hit download here and find it in your downloads in the zip file. You're going to want to extract that with your wonderful WinRAR, WinRAR program. Just back into your downloads folder. And then when you go inside of it, there is going to be an exe file. That is what you're going to click on to open the program. Okay, here's the program. Yours will probably show uh, like a screaming deer, but I changed mine to the cat man when I was messing with it. So up here you have your four different images that you can use, and you're going to upload each one. So first, open eyes, close mouth. I had star eyes at this point, but I was really eager to see the animation. Then you're going to do open eyes, open mouth. Then you're going to upload close eyes, close mouth, and close eyes, open mouth. And then it is already getting your audio, and you can set this green slider on the side. That'll affect how sensitive it is. Oh my gosh, I'm playing around with all the different bouncing motions. I didn't really like them. You can do a bounce just on talking and all kinds of crazy stuff. I had a podcast running when I was messing with this, and it was kind of funny what my person was saying. So I'm mostly just messing around with all these buttons. And then I decided to change up the eyes again <laughs> and add some more details. I'll probably use her in the corner of a couple speed paints and other YouTube videos that I make because I want to start doing YouTube more. And I feel like I'm really bad at it now, and really bad at explaining what I'm doing. But I'll get there. So thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it a lot. Got that kooky eye look going on. The shirt that my character is wearing is just a shirt that I want to buy right now. Do you guys ever do that? I always draw clothes on my characters that I was currently shopping for. Not shopping for, but trying not to buy. Stuff in my wish list. Okay, now I'm doing the second version. I saved four more pictures, now just with my bubbly can in front of me. This version. And you can set a hotkey to change between them both. Yeah, she's looking so cute. Okay, and then you can save it as a video file so that you can open it up later. Let me set up my different hotkeys so I can go like this. And let's see. 
I will show you guys how to do this in OBS and also how to pull her up in Premiere Pro, which is what I'm using to make this video. So the way that I'm adding this as a voiceover in Premiere Pro is I actually recorded, as I was watching the finished video, I recorded using Ice Cream Screen Recorder, myself talking over the whole video on the screen screen mode. It's the exact same length as my video. And then I'm going to drag that in to Premiere Pro. Drag it onto my timeline with the audio. And then I'm going to move myself and resize myself over here. Doop -doop. I'm gonna go to the effects area up here. Effects, effects, effects. Then in the effects section, we are gonna search for the word key and grab our ultra key. That's gonna remove the green screen and drag it right on. Now we are going to go over to our effect controls, scroll down to the ultra key, and color select the green screen color or whatever color you set yours as. You might have to mess around with them a little bit in your video tube mini. So now I'm in there. Doop, 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 doop. And then to use it in OBS, you would have it open and on the green screen. And then you are going to add your display capture like normal. And then you are going to add game capture and OK. Capture specific window, and the window is going to be video to mini. There you are. Allow transparency. And here I am, and you can move yourself around. I have a little bit of a green outline. Let me look up how to get rid of that. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'll just go in here and change my background color to gray, and that looks way better. Now I don't have the green outline. Perfect, so that's how you do it in OBS. Thank you guys for watching, and comment with any questions, and I will make more videos soon.